In an interview today, President Trump defended his chief of staff, General John Kelly. Calling him an elegant man, Kelly stepped into the spotlight last week to defend Mr. Trump's condolence call to the widow of a fallen soldier. That soldier, Army Sergeant LaDavid Johnson, was laid to rest in Florida on Saturday. Family friend Congresswoman Frederica Wilson attended the funeral. She had criticized the tone of the president's call last week to Johnson's wife. Errol Barnett has Mr. Trump's latest remarks on this. These are very, very hard calls. They're sad. President Trump shared how challenging it is to call grieving relatives of fallen soldiers. The president rejected the accusation by Florida Congresswoman Frederica Wilson that Chief of Staff John Kelly defended Mr. Trump to keep his position in the White House. He doesn't need this job. In fact, he didn't really want this job. The past week's controversy between a Gold Star family and the White House comes as the president aims for his first major legislative win. He is now optimistic his tax plan will pass soon. It'll be the biggest cuts ever in the history of this country. Fueling his confidence, the Republican-controlled Senate passed a budget this week, which the House is expected to take up in the coming days. The president's budget director, Mick Mulvaney, says that is crucial. We have to start keeping our promises, but passing this budget this week, uh, which is the next step and an absolutely critical step to get tax reform was a big step forward in keeping that promise. In addition to tax reform, President Trump remains focused on health care. We're going to repeal and replace Obamacare. And I think we actually have the votes. But the only health care legislation supported by Democrats, like Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, is the Alexander Murray bill, which keeps government subsidy payments to the states intact. Look, this is a good compromise. It took months to work out. It has a majority. It has 60 senators supporting it. We have all 48 Democrats, 12 Republicans. I would urge Senator McConnell to put it on the floor immediately. Now, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said he would bring any health care legislation up for a vote if it were clear the president supported it. But President Trump has not fully endorsed the Alexander Murray bill. Rena? Thank you very much, Errol.